All right, guys, so we got this Dan Juma SBC here. We're going to give him a couple of games and see how good he is. Advanced forward plus is pretty nice. So that's where we're going to be playing him at striker. I don't really see him as a winger or at left mid because his body type's not great. Um, so, you know, he's not that shifty. So I don't think I want him out on the wing, especially right now when all the players are a little bit slower, a little bit heavier. I definitely want him in the middle being more of a physical dominant striker. But he's also got some good passing ability and a little bit of dribbling ability. So I think his advanced forward would be pretty good. We'll try him out as a poacher, but I think he'll be more dynamic as an advanced forward. So, yeah, let's get into the gameplay. Good movement. It's good movement. It's a good goal. Oh, please. Oh, he's got back to back nice goals. That was quick. Two quick ones. Strong finish. What a ball. Oh my god, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. He might be on. Oh, he is on. Raheem. Nice finish. Good pass. Good finish. I kind of like how Dan Juma dropped in there. Dropped in. Created a little bit of room. Found the pass. Very nice. Very nice, Mr. Dan Juma. Good play. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Wow. He created that play and he finished that play. Very nice. That power shot plus though. I think he's got power shot plus. He hit that quick. I didn't even green time it. He's got oh, he's got regular power shot. No power shot plus. He's got regular power shot, but still he hit that nice. <laughs> oh man, I had to go for it. What a ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. If he scored that, I would have went crazy. Oh, shit. It's been loading. It's been loading. The back heel, the bicycles. It's been loading, and he finally hit one. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's a good diagonal run. Oh, off the post, no way. Oh, there wasn't much of an angle there. I'm actually surprised he got it through, but that was a great diagonal run. Oh, zero, Berto. Find him. Yeah, ha, ha. Bang. Dan Juma is on one in this game. He is absolutely cooking. It's a good touch. It's a quick little move. Good run, too. Great finish, top corner. Very clean, very nice. Way to come short, Danjuma. No way he doesn't finish that. It's clean. One, two. Yeah, Danjuma. No. Oh, we still have it. Yes. Okay. I can't believe he had the post on the green time. He was there and he stayed on sides and stayed open to finish it. But damn, how the hell would we uh, not finish that? I'm off of my words over here, but he should have two or three this game. That's the thing with him. He is pretty good at like positioning. He gets himself in the right spots. I like his movement, but his finishing is a bit hit or miss. You definitely want to take green time it with him. I do like his dribbling overall, though. It's not, like, insane, but it's pretty good. That's a good one, too. Oh, God. Take the pass. Go for it. Bang! Great run by Raheem Diaz to drag that defender. And green time top ends. I think that was weak foot, too. Love to see that. Yep. A little step over, burst, power shot, another goal from Danjuma. 
He has the, the some games he's on and he's scoring everything, and some games he needs like two or three chances to score. But overall, though, I'm pretty happy with this production. I haven't used many strikers in this game yet, but I think he's a super solid striker. He's better. Than nice turn. Oh, what a finish! I did not think that was going in because I didn't green time it. That's a great hit. Great turn, great hit, tie game. Oh, uh, yep. Didn't you win that battle? Oh my god, please. He did so well to win that fight. It's just that weak foot and the lack of composure. Yes, good turn. He has such good movement, too. But his ability just isn't that good. I mean, if maybe an Evo would do him well. I actually do like his movement, though. What a find. <laughs> what a find and what a finish. Danjuma finally finishes one of those. He's missed a couple. But that's a beautiful finish from Danjuma. All right, so overall... This four-star, four-star Dan Juma. I mean, 15 goals in six games. He is a bit hit or miss. He has games where he'll be on it. He'll score every chance he has. He'll score three, four goals. Then he'll have games where he needs two, three chances to actually finish it. So he's a little bit inconsistent, and that's going to come from that 80 composure. If he had five more composure, 85 composure, then he'd probably be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. So that is a little bit annoying, but of course, this is the start of FC. The game isn't even technically out yet. I mean, you can't expect every single card to have 85 composure. So for a start of the game card, I think he's only like 35k or something. It's not bad. I know 35k doesn't sound like a lot. It kind of is a lot when you're starting the game. But if you play a lot of rush, honestly, you do get a decent amount of coins. I think he's a pretty good striker. I really do like the way he moves. He's decently strong in the ball. His dribbling is pretty good. It's not like insanely shifty, but I think he controls the ball well. He can get past players. His shoot, his shot, you know, I hit or miss. If you can green time it, it's definitely important. Pace wise, he's pretty quick. Uh, in terms of the passing, he's actually decent. Play styles, you know, he's got power shot, which is pretty good, and then rapid. Yeah, I mean, that helps with his pace. Flair is kind of useless. And first touch, that's what helps with his dribbling, especially as a striker when he's receiving that ball, either on the run or, you know, close to a defender. First touch helps a lot. Produces error when driving the ball. Kind of has better control. So that's big. And he is a advanced forward plus is what I was playing him on. You could play him as a poacher, but I kind of liked his movement on advanced forward. Because as a poacher, you're kind of more of, you know, looking for just a tap in the box compared to, like, advanced forward. He's making those runs a little bit more. He's dropping back. He kind of checked in a little bit towards the midfield and then would make a run, which I like. I did not use him at wide, but you would use him as a winger plus. Or an inside forward, honestly, would work too. But I think he's a little bit... He's not that shifty where I would want to use him on the wing. I would probably prefer to use him as a striker if you would complete him. So, overall, I think he's a pretty good card. Um, he's not like, oh my god, wow, you have to go complete this card. And it's not, you know, it's not like, oh, you have to do this card. It's like, he's pretty good. If you complete him, I think you'll be happy with his output. You can see here, he finishes his chances. He does well. He does miss a couple chances. That's just how it's going to be the start of the game, unless you have, you know, Griezmann or something, or someone, you know, up there already in price. But overall, for a cheaper end SVC, I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good first SVC of the year. Decent. He's decent. That's what I'll give him. Pretty good. Not amazing, but not bad.